We knew that these sets needed to be huge and rich and beautiful. I think the audience is interested in the world as well as the story. They're great sets, huge and gothic and dark. Rick Heinrichs was the designer. I've worked with Rick off and on for many years. There was some unspoken understanding in this kind of shorthand. We look for different fishing villages, but the main fishing village is quite a specific looking type of thing. And it was hard to find anywhere else, even going to Maine. I guess the research really came from trawling through lots of pictures of East Coast, Maine. Interestingly, Tim would always say, I like all that stuff. I don't want to be beholden to it because this is going to be our town. There is something about being in the middle of a real setting that does help you organically be. So instead of creating it, you know, digitally on a green screen, we actually built that, you know, fishing port. Rick is from the East Coast, so that was something I think he had in his DNA. Once we decided we were building Collinsport, the infrastructure was the first thing that had to go into place. They started off with a water tank of approximately uh, 100 foot by 80 foot of a three foot six deep. The tank it took about three weeks to actually fill, so there had to be a cutoff point for construction. One of the great pleasures has been being able to put fishing boats right into the water, have them floating when the water's moving. Three, two, one, action! What he did with the back lot was astonishing. I've never seen anything on that scale on any film I've ever done. There were boats in the water and cars driving and people. It was beautiful and real. It just felt real, really real. The house and the environment is a character in it. You know, Colin Wood is a character. Have you ever seen such majesty? Every day. The perfect marriage of European elegance and American enterprise. They had to go from being a newly built manor to a decaying manor. And so the, the details of that were, were really important. But beneath the dust and the cobwebs and the mess was an inanimate object that almost lives and breathes. Barnabas knows the house very well. He built it, so he knows where all the secrets are. I know the body of this mansion as well as I know my own. Every nook, every corner, every secret. There's nothing worth stealing, I'm afraid. Sadly, Elizabeth uses it for the badminton equipment. That's what I was looking for. When craftsmen build something fantastic and it works, it just has that special you know, magic on film. The first time Barnabas enters, he's actually kind of caressing the sculptures and commenting on the fine craftsmanship. So we really put a lot of effort into creating a very beautiful and richly detailed environment. Everything is carved, like each little scale on the pillar and every mural on the wall is painted by hand. Being on the sets and feeling the, the, the textures of the rooms was an important element, not just for me, but for the actors, getting the tone of it. I've seen Barnabas Collins in, in his makeup with this environment felt wonderfully creepy. It was just kind of dark and beautiful and um authentic. I just can't believe it. when I walk into a set that I'm not on a location. My brain's just tricked every day. Being able to walk out around the studio every day and kind of see the progress of something being built is one of the joys of filmmaking is to see those kinds of things being created. It's been a great pleasure just walking around there and feeling like we're really in Maine. The world that Rick Heinrichs created for us to live in and act in and work in was absolute you know, perfection.